faith that I'll be okay. I'm going to have a good day. You know, one of my songs begins, you know. I, I wake up every day. It's going to be a good day. It has to be a good day. I just love to um, sing from a little boy. Um, um, in my house, we always sang. My mother was in the lounge singing to Carpenters and the Nolan sisters, you probably don't know, and my dad was in the other, in the other room with the Beatles and Rolling Stones. So you got to sing. And at school, the only thing I was good at, I was not good at sports, but I was good at singing, you know? So the teacher would say, oh, can you sing this note? And I would. And then we had to go to church on Sundays, and the, and the vicar wanted some choir people, some children, to, to sing. So I went and sang, and then he said, OK, you're good. And he he, in a way, he taught me to sing. He said, open your mouth and sing. You know, this was my teaching. So, <laughs> open our eyes. But yeah, he, um, it's just been that, from the right, from the beginning time. It's a destiny. Oh, all I really know. Oh. You know when you just don't want to stop singing ever? All I want to do is sing every day, every minute of the day. It's my life. Music is my life. I love, I love to sing, perform. And uh, like I say, it's made some wonderful times. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful times. Well, last I sing to help the heart, but I don't sing to be... I want it, I need it but I don't want it for the glory. To me, that music is God. All the songs of all time, God gave us into our hearts to be sung. I've had some good, very good experiences, you know, through music and people. And, and, and it's nice when people come and tell you, like every day when I sing, there always be at least one girl will come. You have an amazing voice, you know. Oh, we were over there, you made our day. You made us so happy. Um, on Friday, Thursday night, six German girls, they were going home. They'd been here three weeks. They said it was their best night since they'd been here for me singing to them, you know. This makes my day. The pitfall for music for me is you have moments where people will tell you they're going to do something for you, something's going to happen, and then it never happens. You can't sing in this square here. You can't sing in a park down the road, you know, you can't sing on the street because you're not allowed. So when I have no home at the moment, I can't rehearse, I can't practice, I just have to go, go, go. I need to have that one moment where someone says, I want this one song, and it begins. So I can have a recording studio and make an album. I want that. I want a professionally done album. And this is much money. I still believe there is higher to go. Something I've always wanted to do was to sing. And uh, someone in my church years ago said to me, there's something that you've always wanted to do, and one day God's going to bring it about. The great thing it was, was to sing. And 
it was through my first divorce and stuff like that that I picked up the guitar and learnt it again. Had started having singing lessons, started learning these songs, started writing songs, and then the more I did it, the more I seen how it brings people happiness. And I realised that's what I'm called to do, and that's to sing and to give people hope. Stand by me. Stand by me. My passion is to enjoy this this voice that God's given me and just to bring, you know, happiness and as someone said it can I remember one guy sitting over there and he was really depressed and he sat and listened to me for 20 minutes, half an hour, and he said, You've made my evening. He said, I was really down, but you know, after listening to you, it's given me hope again in life. And to me that when that happens to someone, I just feel, wow, that's you know, I wasn't even trying anything, just singing. I find that sometimes people really do enjoy it and engage. And uh, it's just sharing the joy I have, the fun, excitement I have for music. I have been different places, but not really doing concerts and such, but mainly here. I used to play at the Theatre Royal in Stratford. It's a kind of theatre, and they've got a restaurant, and I used to play in the bar there for a number of years, in like 2003 or 2004, for, for a couple of years. But mainly I do weddings and this. What I see with the music industry, it can be up and down. But you obviously got to put the hours in, you've got to work hard. I know people are struggling with music and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can get work, people get work in restaurant bars and places. I'd say to the other musicians, just really follow your heart, go passionately practice and work hard till you get it right. I'd rather just do stuff that I really enjoy. And like from tonight, you can see as people can capture their atmosphere and they can sing along, they can feel part of it. So it's more bringing others to sing out and you know, remember their childhood or remember happy memories they've had. My dream is to record a good album and to let people take it home and really just enjoy it. You have to, I feel, work really hard. You have to have low expectations, at least for the first period of what you're doing. Like realistically, I would, when I'm done here, I will get a part-time job or full-time maybe even, and um, do my music like on the side. Music is something that's always going to be there. It's not going to be either I'm doing this or I'm doing that. I will always do music in some way, and even though. I don't succeed, I will always keep trying. So if I don't have any like jobs involving music, I will probably have another job, but then I will still be in the band, still do music, make music, play where I can. But I would not live in on the street. I feel quite safe uh, within my family. So I know if I follow my face, they will be there for me. So I'm not afraid of falling on my face, really. They have encouraged me to do this as well. I actually did basket. I did, like, uh, street music. It was cold. It was really, really cold. The thing, the idea behind it was, well, it's, it's Christmas. <laughs> and uh, I don't have, don't have anything to do. And I need some money to, to buy new equipment. And 
I just had the idea, yeah, well, let's, let's try to um, do some street music. It was fun, but it was, it was tough, you know, it was, um, if you do that for four hours in a row, and uh, it's really cold, you're getting tired, um, it, it, is, it is hard work. I, I really um, admire people who do it professionally, because there are people who actually don't do anything else than, uh, than uh, street music. I'm planning on working as a full-time musician. The only the only thing which can happen is that you fall on your nose. Basically, there's always there's always if it doesn't work out, you can always do something else. It is sometimes you just have to jump in the in the car and do a world tour and sleep on the floors. A transparent look I want to be an artist. I want to be want to make a living of my own music. My own creativity. I just want to make a good living. That's all I want. As long as you can do what you like and you live off it. The eldest is 64, and um, I've lived, I was born in Southampton, in England, I've uh, been singing for a long time, sang during the war to the soldiers, um, got bombed out twice and came to live in Brighton. Keep out the rain. And did a lot of singing, but didn't sing when I got married. My husband wouldn't let me. So um, I didn't sing for 25 years. But then I've been singing, something happened and I got up and sang and I could still sing after all those years and I've still been doing it. So uh, I'm old, uh, I still work because I have no money, so I have to work. So, that's me, really. <laughs> Why your husband stopped you saying? No idea, perhaps he, I don't know, perhaps he thought I'd meet different people, or I don't know. Was he feeling jealous, or? No, he, he thought of nothing, he was a big gambler, and that's all he thought about, gambling, Not, nothing about anything else. Did you stand being away from singing all this time? Well, I was all frustrated inside, very unhappy inside. But uh, couldn't do much about it. Are you protecting? Did your family, your parents, encourage you to sing? My father, yes, but every time I got um, to do something, my mother put a, stopped it. She said I was too young. So at the age of seven, I had an audition to go to America. Uh, yes, I was. I danced then and sang, but they, um, uh, she wouldn't let me go when I. When they said yes, she wouldn't let me go, so that was it. So don't let your parents put you off. Do it. Do it. Really. Because later on in life you'll regret it, you know? Sorry, my life. Yeah, very sad lady. But you are very happy when you sing. Yeah. Only when I sing. Yeah. Too many problems otherwise. When I sing, yeah, I'm happy. And Do you think we need to be encouraged?
encouraged by family to become something we want? Well, unless you've got it in you, it doesn't matter if they encourage you. You've got to have it there to be able to do it. If I didn't have the music, there's really no reason for me to be here. It's my life, and I love it more than my life. No sliding up to the night, please. Okay. Wait. Remember space from having had three sessions. I see a huge amount of progress in every week. So if it's going to continue to progress in, in, the, in the same way in speed, I imagine that in, a, in about two, three months, I think it will definitely click in terms of what we talk about technically. And that's the first point where you can really start to expand on what we do in the lessons and, and, and choose harder songs and, and really just work on singing and, and Towards performing. Hopefully. And told me you. Where are you through with me? <laughs> it's not easy to sing and read lyrics in yeah. film, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing that you have is is which which makes me more excited and makes me more sort of more optimistic about the amount of progress you will make is the fact that you just love it. You really do, and you listen. You listen to the advice I give you. I see. If, just the three lessons that we've had, what I've said to you in the lesson, you have, you have gone back and you've, you've taken that into account and you've come back and, and you've improved on those particular things. And that's the, that's the ultimate, you know, that's the ultimate results for any singing teacher. You drove me, nearly drove me. case you, you've got a, a really a really a beautiful tone and a very good voice you've got the passion and you've got the talent and that's a strong combination Practice. Practice is a big thing. And also realize that there's going to be some huge disappointments. There will be. Wait. Sometimes people might not want to work with you. You might audition, might not get it. There's going to be lots of times when you just feel absolutely lousy about what you do, but that's the time you've got to keep on. You have to have the really low lows in order to have the really high highs. You know, just keep going. Don't just sit in the room and just sing to yourself. You've got it. You've got to venture out. You've got to explore. Believe in what you do and don't give away the control. And, and if, if it seems too good to be true, then it probably is, you know? That's what I'd say, yeah. You're doing it for the long run. Life is a, is a journey, it's not a destination. That's how I think of music. It's not like, you're not aiming to get here, you're just aiming to go. 
you're aiming to develop. Where are you from? In Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Hello, sir. Name is Kareem. Abdurrahman Muhammad. Your age? 25. Tadar. وَأَمَانَ يَا دُنْيَا أَمَانَ تَخْدِينَا لِلْفَرْحَ أَمَانَ وَأَمَانَ يَا دُنْيَا أَمَانَ تَخْدِينَا لِلْفَرْحَ أَمَانَ وَأَمَانَ يَا دُنْيَا أَمَانَ تَخْدِينَا لِلْفَرْحَ أَمَانَ وأمانة يا دنيا أمانة تخدينا للفرحة أمانة وتخلي الحزن بعد عنا وتقولي للحب استنا وتخلي الحزن بعد عنا وتقولي للحب استنا استنا بنحب نسمع شيء تاني انا بدي اسمع شيء في حركه عرب اقل يكون في النغم واضح ومتنقل بس من دون تعبيه عرب كثير ابعت لي جواب 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 وطمني ولو انه عتاب 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 لا تحرمني ابعت لي جواب ابعت لي جواب ابعت لي جواب 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 وطمني طيب عبد الرحمن انا شايف عبد الرحمن صوته حلو عن جد والله هو عربة عربة طواعيته حلوة آه سريعة بس آه <تصفيق> في مشكلة مش هيك انت لا ده وين هو شو يعني انا زلمة مسؤولية على طول مشكلة بتقولوا تقولوا لي اذا مرقنا حدا بيقولوا له صوته اقل بعدين ببرا بدون مشكلة عشان خاطري يمرق لا انا ما شو انت حضرتك بتقول هلا صوته منه عريض كيفي بس لونه حلو كثير حلو لا يعني إيه مش بس هيك آه وراح نشوفه ببيروت إيه برد برد ببيروت <تصفيق> 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 <تصفيق>